Crack addicts. Crack addicts coming back to you. Yeah, that's not what I say here, though. We have to come up with a tagline here, huh? Wow. Oh my god. <sighs> that's what I waited for. It was worth the drive. <laughs> Hi, with Gerardo, he's from San Diego, came a long ways to come see me. His mom thinks he's uh, crazy to come this far because it's what, how long is the drive? Like two hours. Two hours, okay. And he's never been to a chiropractor before, right? Never? No. Gotcha. And so he saw our videos and he's like, I ain't gonna go anybody right here, mom. I'm gonna drive all the way up there. That's right? Yeah. Anyways, Gerardo, I love the name too because it reminds me of that, um, that guy who used to sing back in the 80s. Gerardo. Remember that name? Remember that? You ever hear that song? It was Gerardo's song. Or or something? I don't know. I don't remember the guy, but I remember as the name reminds me of that old song. Um, so uh, he's here because of lots of pain. He's 18 freaking years old and he's in pain for a number of years, right? Yeah, like okay, two years. Two years? Three years. Just neck pain, the shoulder blade pain, lower back pain. I'm always just cracking my, cracking. How many times you self-adjust? You say you 40, 50 times a day? Every yeah, half hour, you yeah, said? probably. Yeah. I'm always cracking my. And so it started three years ago, right? Well, I've always been cracking my, like, a, no, most, yeah. yeah, since I was, like, as I could remember, like, elementary school. Headaches. You get headaches, too. Where do you get your headaches? Yeah, like, in the back, back of my head. head right gotcha. Here. He gets dizzy every single day doing what? How do you get dizzy? Just by getting up too fast or, I don't know, sitting down, and then I get up really fast, and I'm just like, whoa. Gotcha. Okay. Hip pain. What are your hip? TFL? Yeah, right here. I have this weird hip pain right here. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Sleep's all right. I toss and turn a lot, but... The weirdest thing is when I yawn or like I, like sometimes I yawn randomly and I get this little cramping, aching. How long has that been going on for? I don't know, like probably like a year. It just comes on randomly though. I can gotcha. yeah, just randomly. So you take a deep breath and yawn. Yeah, and it just kind of hurts. And it hurts. I feel like a cramp like inside my body. It just hurts. Okay, one more thing that's interesting on there is that he says when he uh, gets up in the morning, you have this uh, choking thing. Or you yeah, have, it's, it's it's like, like feel like throwing up. And go back like this. How's that? Like a three. A three? Okay, look at the ceiling. Just surgery. Three, yeah. like three or four, right? Yeah, three gotcha. X-rays are um, not exceptionally bad. Um, mostly just basic reverse neck curve, Alice is influenced, a uh, little short leg, some constipation, basic straight stuff. I mean, he's gonna respond really well to this. Um, check this out. Hey people's 10 millimeter right imbalance and seven degree curve in the middle of his back there. Here we have five millimeter short right leg and significant constipation. You can see that. Here we have significant neck reversal. You can see it and a horizontal atlas. Here we have sway back and confirmation of that constipation. Check it out. How bad does it get? Because right now it's a three or four. What does it usually get to? In like seven, eight. When does that happen? Just randomly sometimes I sleep wrong or... Just wake so up. morning you wake up? Yeah, I just wake up. How about any sleep. position? Oh. Sitting, standing too long, that kind of stuff? Standing too long. How I long? Could... 20 minutes, 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. I cut hair, so like about an hour, an hour? two hours. I'm just like, oh, I need to sit down. I'm a little nervous. Okay. Good, nice. Mm How's -hmm. <laughs> that? Oof. That's what I expected in the videos. So it feels uh, like the little... A little shooting up. A little shooting up? Yeah. What else do you feel? Just... Was it very painful? Nah. Not very painful? Nah, I feel a little tingling in my feet. tingling? Now you self-adjust all the time. When yeah. When you self-adjust, is it anything like that? Nah. It feels like a little, like a shift. Like an sh actual yeah, shift, like huh? an actual shift, not yeah, just when a you, little, when you not just little, a crack. You just get a crack, right? There's an actual shift. You yeah. feel it shifting inside your skin, mm -hmm. right? Inside your body. <laughs> Did you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so on the table there. Good. Uh, lightheaded at all? Yeah. You're a little dizzy. A little dizzy? Colors are like. I don't know. The colors are a little different? Yeah. So a little different surroundings? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, we're getting Gerardo up here to uh, do his walk of shame. Uh, just kidding. He's going to do his recalibration, walking up and down the hallway. He's a little dizzy, so he's sending him twice. Let's hear how he's doing. Uh, 
I felt like, I don't know, I felt kind of taller. It looks taller. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel kind of taller. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it just feels... You can see in the video, by the yeah, way, you look taller. Yeah, not so heavy on my neck. Gotcha. So my shoulders, they feel lighter. Like uh, that pain in my back I had, it's not there anymore. Interesting, right? Yeah. It's trippy. Okay, so let's, uh, so all the self-adjusting you've ever done before, do you ever have this, like, feeling of this, uh... For a little bit, and it feels better, but not like this, no. Put your hands on your back, lean back. Full little tension, a little tight, but... That was a three yeah. or four, or three before, right? Yeah. What is it now? One. Look at the ceiling. That was a four, I think you said, or a three. Yes. Was it worth the drive, dude? Yeah. Yeah, it was. So was it like the video, or is it... Is there anything, when you watch the videos, is this exactly like the video, or is there anything different? Is there anything I'm hiding from the camera? Nah, it's, everything's, even when you walk in the door and you see that little <laughs> sign, the SoCal car effect, you're like, damn, I'm here. <laughs> no, but all the treatment is yeah, exactly the, the same. It's exactly the, video, the right? same and even better once you experience it. Right on. Hi, this is Dr. Thayer. I'm with Gerardo. This is one year later. This guy came in to me at 18 years old. He's 19 now, and uh, he came in twice last year. He came in September, uh, and then he came in November, and so that's it. And I told him back then that he, uh, muscle memory is going to be the killer for him and that he needs to do more work. And he's going to go into boot camp pretty soon here. And he's not feeling too hot. So he called me up and goes, can I get a tune-up? Mm -hmm. And I came and chastised him for about, what, half hour? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah pretty much like that. Yeah. So um, anyways, he needs some work. And uh, if you look at the original video, which you guys are watched before this, uh, he was in pretty bad shape back then. Uh, some things that have gotten a little bit better is headaches and some of the vertigo is not quite as intense as it used to be. Uh, his low back pain seems to be a little bit better, his hip pain not as bad, uh, and that was with two visits. But he is a chronic self-adjuster, which we said in the original video, 20 to 40 times a day, he said in the original video. And now he's saying eight. So maybe it's a little bit less than it used to be, but it was a, he claimed a lot more nah, before. Yeah, that's the same. It's crazy. Yeah, liar, piece of shit. <laughs> um, so, um, well, I, just, I was in the gym on Tuesday, and I, my, neck, my neck felt a little stiff, so I, I cracked it. And after that, I knew something. I tried looking left and right. I just felt this pain right here. I couldn't sleep. I had trouble moving. I couldn't even move the next day. Gotcha. This guy self-adjusts all the freaking time. And this time he goes, I have a little tightness. He has tightness all the time. And he did it one too many times. And what happened? This is what happens. So when I tell you guys to stop doing it, I tell you, you guys don't listen to me. I don't know what to tell you. Keep doing it. Fuck, <laughs> Jesus, he's another example of why you shouldn't. Okay, so, um, and another important point here is that you guys are like, why should I pay you to get better when I can do it myself for free? Again, <laughs> I, I, the, the stupidity of that comment makes me laugh, but you guys will tell me this in the comments. Write it down if you think that's right. I don't know what to freaking tell you, but this stuff is crap. If he helped himself, he wouldn't be adjusting himself 20 to 40 times a day. Yeah, I wish I could do I that. mean, if... <laughs> I wish I could do that. Right? He's not doing the right thing. He's doing the worst thing. So just understand this, guys. It's simple. It's right in front of you, but you're not going to learn because you're going to tell me you just want the money. No, I want to help you guys. He can't do it himself. So anyways, I'm only getting to my soapbox because you guys tell me all this bullshit. So we just did an exam on him. He's also lost his sensation in his right arm. And so um, this is worse than last year. I looked at the notes last year. I looked at the exam last year. He had complete sensation of his, in his arms. And now this time he's lost it. So he's only 19 now, guys. And so, uh, it's getting worse. How, how often do you have headaches now? Probably like once a week. Once a week? So it's way better than it was. How about the vertigo, the light headaches when you get up too fast? Yeah, sometimes. How often do you get that? Once a week, twice yeah. a week, three times a week, every day? Yeah, probably like once a week. So that's already better too, guys. You guys with vertigo out there are always going, can you help me, can you help me? Two visits, and he was every day before. Acid reflux, you had acid reflux before? Yeah. In the morning? Yeah. How's that been? What's going nah, on there? No, nah, it's better. I stopped smoking, so. It's been a little bit. Smoking what? Anyways, um, let's see. Uh, anything else? Um, how about the left hip? Left hip is good. Good. Yeah. And that was painful before. What? Why are you laughing? That's a common question. I'm a doctor. I can ask that question, can I? Okay, so um, low back pain. How's that been too, by the way? Um, it's been better. Not as bad as before. Go back like this? How about that tension or pain? Yeah, like right in the middle. About how much? Scale uh, one to ten. About three. About four. three? Oh, yeah, three, four. Look at the same, please. How about that? About like six, seven. About a six or seven? So we're going to check his ability to feel. So uh, I'm just going to do this on this side. This side. Any difference there, sir? Yeah, I feel it's a little bit less. On less on that side? Okay, let's do this here. And then so this is not very good. Right, let's do this one. Maybe this, like this. Yeah, a little bit less on this okay. side. Okay. 
And so this one, a little less. And one more here. Okay, so the whole right arm is shut off. And this is all because of this neck he did. And so it's inflamed, it's pinched, it's angry, and it's cutting off the flow of information to his arm. So his arm is actually less sensation, and it's actually weaker too. Ready to get treated? On your back. Now the one thing, big difference between last year and this year, look at he's bigger. He's put some weight on. You were skinny last year. Yeah. yeah. So, and, okay, that's a good, now one more thing. And that's an interesting thing, guys. He put some weight on. So a lot of you guys are like, if he just stretched more, if he just worked out better, how much do you work out? Uh, not as much as I would like to, but. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. That's what I waited for. It was worth the drive. <laughs> Crack addicts. Crack addicts can back you. Yeah, that's not what I say here though. We have to come up with a tagline here, huh? Oh, is that Dr. Houston or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I like this. Come this way. Good, nice. That's 19 year old neck, guys. That's what that sounds like. So watch the front door, please. Look straight ahead. Arms at your side. No twisting or turning. Thank you. Hey everybody, just having a little fun here, putting his last year walk of uh, shame, as I said last time, next to his current walk. And so we're just checking him out here, um, but really what we're doing is recalibrating, like I always say, spreading that neck adjustment through his entire body. He's cruising up. Look at how much bigger he is. Jesus Christ. In one year. And so uh, we're going to say good luck to him in the armed forces. Let's check out how he's doing. That's good. Feel better. Feel different? Yeah. Feel taller. You look taller. And the other thing you can see, he's less fidgety too. Yeah. Feels good. You don't feel like you have to move around as yeah. much, right? Just shut up. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, let's see how you're feeling. Go ahead and um, stand over here. Oh, yeah. Feels better. It's not so much tension. Gotcha. Look at the yeah. ceiling, please. Oh, yeah. What was that like? That was a six, I think. Yeah, it's probably good. Three, four. Gotcha. So less, right? So he took about 25% of his pain away. The big one is let's take a look at neurology here. Put your arms up again. Okay, so, um. Yeah. I feel it more, but a little bit less. Still less, yeah, but more, right? Let's do it again. That felt like kind of the same. Gotcha. See that a little bit less on the side. Yeah, so is any difference in sensation over there? Yeah. That's one adjustment. Again, he needs more. We've talked about that. So he's going to come back this afternoon and do double days for a couple days and see how we get him.